Yo, what's up guys? The Boxy Legend. I don't know. Yo, what's up guys? The Boxy Legend. What the fuck? Yo, what's up guys? The Boxy Legend's back with another video. In this tutorial, guys, today we're gonna be learning how to make a moving part in Roblox by using position and vector 3 using like the x axis, the y axis, and the z axis. And I'm gonna show you in a demonstration, like an example on how this is gonna work. So we're gonna be using like an infinite loop to make this on part. So we're gonna hit run right now. And you see, we made the part move by the x axis, I think, right? Yeah, this is the x axis. So it's moving negative x axis, which is left. And you can see over here, this part is negative, this is the positive. And you see the part keeps moving like negative. And yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you could do the script today. Alright, so after we got the variable set up, we're gonna make our infinite loop now. So we're gonna type while true do. And this is called an infinite loop because it's always true. So we're gonna hit enter. And we're gonna type brick or whatever like your variable name is over here. And damn, I typed it wrong. That's sad. Brick.position. And then we're gonna get its position again, like its current position. So we're gonna type brick. I mean, we're gonna type equal to break that position, and then we're gonna type space plus, and we're gonna add our new vector three. So we're gonna type vector three dot new. Be sure not to confuse it for vector two, since vector two is actually not for um, parts like these. It's for like decals and text labels. It's like for the two D stuff. So we're gonna type vector three dot new, and then put the parentheses. And now there's an x, y, and z value. And I'm gonna talk about these three values real quick. So to summarize like rapidly, the x-axis is like over here. So this is the 3D part, right? The x-axis, you can look at this part over here, is from this way to that way. I know I can't like drag it straight, but actually let me use a move tool. The x-axis moves from this way, that's negative. And the other side is positive. The z-axis is, it moves this way. So that's negative z, I think, and that's positive right there. Actually, not up, other way around, I meant. And the Y, like, it's, it's up and down. So this is the Y. So what I want to do is I want to move it up and down. So we're going to make the X and Z zero. And I want to make it move up, right? Like, if I, if I type negative, then it's going to go down. And that goes, like, similar for, for the X and Z. Like, if you put it, like, a negative value, it's going to go the opposite of, like, maybe how you want it. Or, like, unless if you want it that way. But, yeah, I want to make it move, like, up. So what we're going to type is, we're going to type 1, like this. It's going to move up. And then the next thing we're going to do is, we're going to type a task dot weight equals 2. And you can put any value. I suggest doing point 0.1, but I'll show you like a, another way to do it later with this part. So I'm going to run, run it right now. And you guys can see that something is wrong. And that reason is because we did not anchor it. So now let's try again. You, you must anchor the part before you do it and now you see that the part is moving up but note how it's like moving like it's not that smooth like you can see that it's like a bumpy like it moves up but like it's kind of bumpy so i'm gonna show you how to fix it now what we're gonna do is if you want to make it smooth you have to like remove i mean not remove but like remove the value in the weight actually so it's gonna be task that weight and then parentheses now i'm gonna run it and you can see that it's smooth but really fast and like yeah, it's we might not want like a really fast part like that. So if you want to make it slower, what you want, to, what you could do is you could add a decimal here. You could change the y value to 0.1 because that's how much is moving like each time of a stud. And if we play now, you could see that the part is moving way slower and like it's way calmer. And if we make the part bigger, then we could like actually make the player like raise up, like we could raise the player up. So I'm gonna put a run here. Actually, not run, but play here. Let me center it more. And now you see that when I load in the game, I drop onto the part. And basically, now it's moving me up. But however, if we move it to the side, let's remove this. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? Like this. If I want to make it move to the side, then let's say I'll do point one here. Then I won't be able to, like, stay on it. Like, I would actually need to run and, like, move at the same time. So, I'm going to show you right now. You can see that, like, I'm not moving with the part. Like, the part doesn't move me at, like, my exact position. So, I'm going to need to keep running in case I need to survive. But, yeah, guys, this is how you make a moving part in Roblox Studio. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video guys hopefully I won't fall and yeah guys that is it alright bye guys